Oak Grove Cemetery was established in 1852, and one of the founding fathers was Joseph Losey. And when you come through the cemetery, the first thing you do is see a big stone arch, and that's called the Losey Memorial Arch. And it was dedicated in 1902 on Memorial Day to Joseph Losey. He found that the cemetery had been run down over the first few years and he was real disappointed. So he created an English-like garden out of the cemetery and that's what we see today. We have quite a few historic figures in the cemetery. We have, uh, first of all, our tallest monument is in honor of a man who was a congressman in Wisconsin. He was a governor, a great businessman, and his name was Cadwalder. Washburn. His monument is 40 feet tall, the tallest one in the cemetery, and between the base and the top it probably weighs over 60 tons. Basically years ago when people were, when people passed away in the winter we couldn't bury, so we have a historic mausoleum which was built in 1912 that at the time it was built had 50 extra compartments put into it for the deceased so that during the winter they could be stored there until we could bury them in the spring. Nowadays, we vary at um, any time of the year, so things have changed a little bit that way. We do have a Civil War monument in the cemetery, and it's an honor of the veterans from the Civil War. And alongside it, there are two cannons, and those cannons are brass, and they, are, they weigh over 12,000 pounds each. And at the time they were used, it's hard to believe, but they could shoot a cannon over or almost a mile. The Hickson Family Monument is a beautiful monument in the cemetery. It's of a mother and two children, and it is in memory of the Hickson family. And many people are aware of the Hickson family due to the Hickson house that we have in La Crosse also. That grave site is the resting place for five of the Hickson family. The Terrain Hood Mausoleum is another uh, well-known family in La Crosse. The family is well known for their air conditioning and heating manufacturing. After World War II, the company became internationally known. Uh, they had a big contract with uh, the government during World War II, and that gave them this uh, great advantage that after the war, their, their business took off, and they're still in La Crosse, which is great, and they have family members married in Basileum. The Cargill Memorial is in uh, the family of the Cargills were in the grain business, and at one time they had grain elevators on um, the riverfront in La Crosse, over by where we have LHI and the waterfront um, restaurant. And uh, back in the day, it was all industrial, it looked a lot different than it does now. The family eventually did move their operation to Minneapolis, but we still have the Cargill family buried here. Well, that's called the Vets Hill, and it's various veterans who were buried. It would, been, it would be back in the earlier 1900s and um, all have the exact same stone. It looks very, very uniform and very much um, as the soldiers would like it. Everything is very straight and lines, and, and right now we have flags by them. Uh, the graves of all the uh, military are flagged um, for Memorial Day, and we keep the flags out there until 4th of July. Uh, Oak Grove Cemetery is a great place to visit. You don't have to have someone buried here to come. We look at it as a park-like cemetery. We do invite people to come in and bicycle and walk. Feel free to come through. Um, we just want you to come and enjoy it. And we do have a pamphlet with a walking tour. If you would like to actually see specific sites, you can pick up the free pamphlet and uh, take your own tour of the cemetery.